Let's call them. Ew, 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 ew. Oh, look at this. They've been sliding. Look, they've been walking around at night. Come on. Here we go. Good girl, Dale. Good girl. There you go. Yes, still the king of the camp, everybody. Uh, we've got Slinky, we've got food. We're gonna feed Slinky and some alligators. We sincerely thank all of you happy campers out there. Your support makes a real difference in our efforts here at Camp Kennedy. This week's special shout out goes to Jess Harker. Thank you for all you do and for loving reptiles. Um, I wanted to start with Slinks because I know you guys probably were wondering how he's doing. Well, he's doing great and he's just out here looking. Oh boy, he's gonna see this food. Oh, don't you go leaving on me now. I'm not worried because look at how much he's shedding, guys. Look at this. Holy smokes. Let's get him back into this area here. Watch this. Come on, bud. Come on, come on. There you go, that's what you want. You want a little squirrel. Now I get these squirrels from a neighbor. Uh, he brings them over because they tear up his uh, roof. Um, so he shoots them and uh, I get them. And Slinky happens to absolutely love them. And that's the same thing with the gators too. When I got these gators from Fred, they gave me a whole freezer. Well, a freezer full of death, I suppose. We have a raccoon in here and uh, Slinky, or rather our buddy is gonna eat that, our buddy Snaggletooth, but right now, oh, Slinky's got it. He got the, he's got that little squirrel. All right, man, very good. So nothing goes to waste. The animals get fed, everyone's happy. And uh, again, man, such cool stuff. Love this enclosure that Aquascape helped me with, with this pond. Look at how everything's filled in. Look at how happy Slinky is. He is growing immensely. We got warm weather and he is just doing his thing. It's so cool to see these guys grow in such a large enclosure. Uh, he's really, uh, become the master of this domain, I can tell you that. So it's been exactly one year since we have it, and I'm pretty excited about it. Good stuff. Let's go ahead and we're gonna give some chicks here. He's got some chicks that he needs. There you go, buddy. Finish what you got in your mouth first, will ya? Okay, or not. Little uh, trick chick dessert here. Help him wash down that tail. There you go. Just pushing it down. The best lizard ever. We love you, Slinky. God, I love this lizard. And uh, you know, even though we have to get used to these gators here in a little bit, we have to endear ourselves to them. And the whole reason I want to do this today is because, you know, they're still a little nervous. They've only been in here at the time of this viewing about one week, actually. So uh, it's been one week since we've had the alligators and I want them to get more and more comfortable with me. He's really having a, having a hard time getting that squirrel down. Come on, buddy. Nice. He's gonna twist his neck. There you go. Push it down, buddy. Push it down nice. Good deal. I got my stitches out today. I'm pretty happy about that also. So my stitches are out. We're gonna moisturize and I'll have full mobility of this finger real soon. In the meantime, I think Slinky's ready for another chick. We have two left. Let's give it to him. There you go, buddy. Get this done quick. There you go, my friend. All right. Well, you're all set, buddy. You had a nice feed. He's looking good. I like how he just hangs out on the old stool here that I got when I lived in Las Vegas. Nice, nice wooden stool I have there. So anyway, he's looking awesome. What a beautiful lizard. Okay, let's keep moving, man. Let's get into the alligator enclosure and get these guys fed. This is what's gonna, you know, I got to uh, get this whole process dialed. So we're gonna go for it. Oh, let's lock this up nice. Okay. All right, cool. Now let's get on over here. This is it. Let's see what the gators are doing. I did fill some water in. Uh, it was getting real dry and I thought, ah, let's go ahead and just get these guys all excited. So here's the alligator enclosure. This is Fred's Lagoon. Uh, we're gonna come up with a name for it, but Fred's Lagoon sounds kind of nice. So I don't know. I'm gonna try and get everyone called up. We also need, where's my stick? Where's my stick? Hmm, I had a nice stick. Well, that band, oh, there it is, it's in there. Perfect. All right, here we go. We gotta feed Snaggle, and we've gotta feed Dale, which Kate and the kids have been calling Lady Dale. But let's go over here, because I saw a head over here. Let's call him. Ew, 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 
Of course, there's an airplane. Up oh, there he is, Snagglepuss. Snaggle tooth. Snaggle tooth. Come on, boy. I got something for you, and I think his girlfriend's in there too. Oh yeah, here he comes. He's getting much more brave. Come on, Snaggy. Come on, Snaggy boy. I want to get him into position, and I'm I'm gonna really try and get this guy set up to where we can really kind of get him out here. Maybe lure him out. This is kind of a steep embankment. I definitely don't want to be standing on that. We want to get him close. Come on. Come on, Snaggy. Oh, they're just under there. They're lurking. Oh my gosh, I love it. Come on, Snaggy. They like to know what's going on in their enclosure, that's for sure. So we're going to go ahead and I want to draw him, draw him down to this side because it's a little bit easier to feed him. So we'll go for it. There's still pretty steep embankment. When we get this all the way filled, it's going to be a whole lot easier for us. Actually, you know what? I know what I'm going to do. We're going to go all the way on the other side. Let's go on the other side. I think that's the place. That's my sweet spot. So we're going to walk around. Check this out. Look at this enclosure. They can wander around on land. We've got security all the way around. Really nice and secure. We got my hammock. Come on, Snaggy. Over here, bud. See, we're going to go over here. I can kind of get them over here. Oh, look at this. They've been sliding. Look, they've been walking around at night. Look at this. Look at the slide here. Oh, they're using this whole thing. You can see them. Look at this. They were walking around. Oh, that's so cool. Yes, they're really exploring this enclosure. So that's awesome. Let's see about getting this GoPro set up somewhere else. And again, here are their slides. You can see a little bit of slide action there. Ew, ew, ew. Come on, boys and girls. We're going to get you guys all set up. Let's see what we got here. All right, let's get my bucket. This is it. First time, our first feed. We want to really get Snaggletooth fed first. We're going to give him the raccoon. Come on, bud. Here we go. Got a big raccoon for him. Now, I got to be careful. I got to see where she is. Come on, Snaggy. Come on, Snaggy. There he goes. Remember, these guys can be hidden. Come on, Snaggy. Snaggleplus, come on, Snaggy. Okay, there she is. There's Dale. So they're both near each other. So now I know it's safe. Come on. See how he went under? Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. He's turning around here. Come on, Snag. Come on. Come on. Look what I got. Look what I got. We got we got raccoon for you. Come on. Holy smokes. Come on. Look at him and his girlfriend. Come on, come on, look what I got. Come on, Dale. Come on, Snaggy. Good boy, come on. Come on, good boy. Good boy. Oh, let's see if he's gonna explode. Oh, he's down there. Oh my gosh. Come on, boy. Come on. Come on. Good boy, come on. Come on. Look what I got. Good boy, come on. He's coming. Come on. Open. Come on, come on, here we go. Oh my gosh, come on, I want him to come out because I want him to trust me. Come on. Come on, his mouth open. Come on, good boy, good boy, come on. Come on, holy smokes, this is great. All right, we're gonna, come on. All right, there he goes. I want him to get it. Holy smokes. He's happy with that meal, I think. Now we got to get Dale to trust me, which is going to be a whole lot more difficult because she's really wary because of the excitement from last week. But look at him go, whoa. Wow, that is just so cool. All right, she's swinging back over this way because he's chasing her over there. So I'm going to go ahead, follow him. He likes to go over to his area. And a way a gator eats and all crocodilians is they have to position the food in their mouths 
I really got to get to work on these. They position the food in their mouth, usually head first, or they, they get chunks torn out. And then what they want to do is they just lift their heads up and it falls right into their stomach. That's how it works. All right, let's hope we get him swallowing that. We got to get Lady Dale fed. She's definitely more um, timid than him. You can see he was coming back over. That's great. I got two squirrels. I'd like to get her fed. Um, she did eat a fish the other day, but she is in fact shy. So we got to figure out where she is. <coughs> Lady Dale, Lady Dale, where are you? Where could she be? And these are easy to handle on tongs. Let's see. I just need to get a good idea of where she's at. Lady Dale. Come on, girl. Come on, Dale. What I might have to do is when she does show herself, I might just throw this next to her so that she'll, she'll go ahead and grab it. She's so, so darn shy. And I need her to realize I'm going to be the guy coming to feed them now. They had such an amazing life with Fred and they're so used to Fred and Fred's family. So we have to get them custom to me. And so that's what I'm doing. And it's just time. It's just time, time and patience. You notice how, oh, he's disappeared. But do you notice how Snaggletooth went to his own area? Okay. He doesn't want to be bothered. He wants to just go in his own area, hold on to his prey item, and wait until he's comfortable for him to finish it. That's kind of how he does it. Now, what I've noticed with her, since she knows she lives with another alligator and she's smaller, she tends to eat a lot quicker than Snaggy over here. There she is, there's her head. I'm gonna go ahead and just try this, guys. I'm gonna try and throw it. Oh, that was a bad throw. Hey, girl. Hmm. What a bummer. We lost a squirrel. I thought it would float, but clearly not. It's a bit waterlogged. It's right just at about two o'clock from her snout. Hmm, let's get another one. Try and get her close. It's gonna be fun. You guys are gonna watch as these animals get more and more accustomed to me and my rituals here at the camp. So I think that's gonna be important. Come on, girl. Whoop, this is very slippy. Look at this. Oh, this is dangerous. I don't know if I like that too much. And you know what? Maybe I'll just go ahead and throw it with my hands. Let's see if I have good aim with my right hand. Come on, honey. Come on, Dale. Look what I got. There it is. Oh, did I get, did she get it or did she get scared? Son of a gun. Now they can find the food at the bottom, but I think I might've scared her a little bit. Man, sometimes if you get it right next to their heads, she instinctively just, just goes for it. Let's see. Holy smokes. It's pretty exciting though. First time feeding my gators on video with you people. Woo! So cool. But to be honest, the alligators, even though I'm not going to get complacent around them, the alligators are a little bit less exciting or less dangerous than, we got a hawk over here, less dangerous than some of the crocodilian, uh, crocodile species. Nile, salties, muggers, those are real aggressive feeders. They'll go after humans because they are on the menu. But in the meantime, right now it looks like she's scared, darn it. So I went ahead and I got some croc chow and we're gonna go ahead and feed her some croc chow. She's right here, but I wanna at least see that she is eating. So let's just try and be sneaky about this. She gets lower in the water. I want her to trust me. Oh, look at this, this is good. Good, good girl. Good girl, Lady Dale. That's a good girl. So that's good news. Uh, let's see if we can get her closer. And just get her to, you know, really trust me with this. 
Good girl. Good girl. Awesome. So that's cool, guys. So she's, I just messed up with the squirrels. Um, I'm sure they'll find them later. But alligators are very smart. And this is why they say here in Florida and anywhere you live that's alligator country, you don't feed alligators because they actually are so smart, they realize pretty quickly that you're bringing them food. So it's important to keep wild alligators wild and afraid of people. And Dale is just, she's only afraid because of what happened last week. And that means I, what happened last week was we caught her up from a place where she's been living for a really long time and moved her. And, and also she bit the fence and, you know, she did lose a couple of teeth, but it's okay because crocodilians will grow their teeth back as long as their nutrition is proper. Come on, good girl. I like to give her praise <laughs> because they actually recognize voices. And that's because, you know, this animal here, if it laid uh, eggs and had a nest, she'd have to recognize her own baby's calls as opposed to another nest call. So they recognize the proper call. It's really cool. They can differentiate. Let's see if she comes even closer. Look at this. Good girl, good girl. It's okay. It's okay. Good girl. Good girl. A little bit closer. Come on. Good girl. There's a sweetheart. She really is beautiful, huh? Just a beautiful, beautiful American alligator. Alligator Mississippianus. What was it like when the first Spanish explorers came and saw these animals for the first time, huh? I mean, gosh, how big and how numerous were all the alligators here in Florida? Probably just millions of them. And... I, I just wonder what the density was like. Let's see, good girl, good girl, good girl, good girl. That's a sweetheart, come on. It's right there. Come on. Come on, Lady Dale, good girl, good girl. Come on, a little bit closer, a little bit closer. There it is, it's right there. And they have those ISOs on their bottom jaw, the alligators, and those ISOs are integumentary Sensory organs. I just want to see if she'll come closer. Yep, good girl. Good girl, Dale, good girl. But she goes back in the water. She feels more secure uh, far out in the water. So this is awesome. And you know, this is what I really want. I want to build trust. But remember, I'm building trust, but I'm never going to forget that I'm dealing with an animal that could really hurt me. So I have been doing this for a long time, albeit not at my house, um, but I've, been fortunate enough to study under Fred and under some of the best in the business. And this is just me now realizing a life's dream by having these beautiful animals here at the house. Come on, there's more for you. I'd love to be able to get her closer uh, to where she'll open her mouth and just let me throw it in her mouth. Let's go ahead and we'll get the last one. I have two left and one in the water. Come on, girl. Come on, Dale. That's a good girl. Let's get this nice. She's going to zero in on it. Beautiful. Beautifully done, my love. Beautifully done. Come on. Come on. Come on, Dale. Come on. Come on. Come on. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. There you go. Trust is good. Try and blow it. As soon as it touches her little, there we go. Good girl, Dale. You're a good girl. Oh, this is so cool, guys. Just starting to bond with these animals is important. It's incredible. It's just incredible how far our little channel is going, you know? All with the help of our friends and you guys as well. All right, come on, girl. Come on. Come on. Come on, Dale. Come, come. Come on. Right here. Come on. Let's see if I can get her a little. Come on. No? That's it for today? There you go.
Well, I'm gonna take this as a positive example or a positive interaction. So she's beautiful. Let's go see what a boyfriend's doing over there. It is truly an honor and a privilege to have these animals in the backyard. And we still have the caiman that we are gonna be working with as well. We gotta get their enclosure built and the aquascape guys are on the way. Good times. All right, he's still here. Hey buddy, hey snags. He's still got that raccoon in his mouth. I wanna go ahead and just give him a little bit more time. Okay, there have been some interesting developments. She keeps chasing him with his food and I went ahead and I raked out one of the squirrels. So maybe I can get her to come over here and eat again. Come on, girl. Come on, Dale. Come on, Dale. Come on, Dale. Maybe I can get her to trust me and eat this squirrel instead of pestering him. But I gotta be careful on this section. Come on, girl. Come on, Dale. Girl, girl. Come on, girl. I really wanna get her attention, but she's locked on to him. Come on. Come on. Look what I got. I got food. Yeah, she's locked on to him, man. If he just starts to swallow, if he starts moving around, she goes over near him and then he gets annoyed and he wants to swim away. It's kind of fun. Now I'm learning their personalities and how they react when they're together. There have been no issues with them fighting, but she definitely is pretty aggro as far as intelligent and not afraid to go up to Snaggletooth, even though he's a much bigger gator. All right, let's go this way. I really need those bridges ASAP. Hey, Dale, Dale, Earl. come on, girl, come on, look what it is, it's a squirrel, you like squirrels, come on, I'm going to throw it to you, there you go, that's a good girl, that's what I wanted to see, now she's got a little food, that's better than a little biscuit, ain't it? Oh yeah. Oh, good girl. Good girl. That'll do it, right? That's my lady, Lady Dale. Now, can you beat it and leave him alone? So the funny thing about gators is when they eat, they don't have an esophagus like ours. They don't have smooth muscles, or rather they don't have muscles that can push the food into their stomach. It actually falls into their stomach by gravity. So they position the food, lift their heads up, and it falls into their bellies. Pretty incredible. Look at that, that's all she wanted. Now you can, now Snagglepuss, I always say Snagglepuss from the cartoon character. Snaggletooth can eat in peace as she slides away. Good girl, good looking lady. Now she wants to go eat and he's now hiding. But um, they like to feel secure when they eat because they have to expose themselves, okay? And since they're shy right now, they really don't like to expose themselves. But me being in here talking, filming, they're gonna get uh, desensitized to my presence pretty soon. Doesn't take long. There you go, right down. Good job, buddy. <laughs> All that weight. I think it was worth it. Woo. All right. Well, there you go, everybody. Our first gator feeding here at the camp on the channel. 
I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. I love spending time with these animals. Uh, I've said it so many times, it's an honor and a privilege. And um, I love sharing things with you. We're gonna keep on going here at the camp. We're gonna keep on educating, keep on learning ourselves, keep on providing the best possible lives for these animals. Um, it's awesome. Thank you so much. Don't forget to comment and like, and uh, let me know what you guys thought. What do you guys think of these animals? Are you excited to see more about them? I think they're great. All right, everyone, we'll talk to you soon. We'll be coming back from Fred's Lagoon many, many times. See ya.